Hey everybody, today we're reviewing Steven Universe, the first episode, Gem Glow. So, what was your first impression of the show? Of the whole show? That's easy. My first impression is that people don't shut up about it. That's the thing. Unlike, unlike the other sh unlike other shows we've reviewed, Steven Universe is probably the most well-spoken of show we've talked about. I don't know why. I still don't know why. After one episode, I'm still asking why adults go crazy over this. I have a vague idea based on posts I see all the time. But... Well, the short answer why they love it is, and I know you hate me for saying this, but it gets better. The, the first season... I was going to say because, let me guess, all those silly sites like to say, Oh, look, there's this bit with a gay wedding, and there's this bit with a this, and there's this bit with genderqueer, or... I don't know what happens, but there's a lot of stuff that everyone just freaks out about. Well, yes, the inclusion of LGBTQ plus characters is one factor why people like it. It's also very inspirational in some ways, but we'll get to that when we get to later episodes. But I'll admit, Stephen is very childish in the first season. He does get more mature when some traumatic things happen, like... Maybe they realised the adults love the show and they made people want to fix that. Maybe, yeah. But what do you think of Stephen as a character? Uh... I mean, he's definitely the most annoying of all the characters, but it, but he's not bad either. The voice, one thing I will say is the voice acting is actually good for all these characters. Yes, that's, unlike, that's something unlike, they get right. Unlike a certain other show we've had to review, the voice acting is better, the animation is better, this just proves why 2D animation is usually better than 3D animation. Yes, and the one reason why I love how Zack handles his role as Steven is he sort of grows up with it and you'll notice when we get to later episodes his voice changes he actually hit puberty during recording wait, season wait, one wait 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 this is voiced by an actual kid um not quite he's close to my age I think I'm how does he hit puberty if he's close to your age um well I'm not sure what year season one was made, but... You don't know anything about the shows you love. I come prepared for facts. <laughs> anyway, his, he mentioned in a panel once his voice kind of changed while doing season one. And they just had to roll with it. And then later on, when... Um, much later in the show, there's a bit of a time skip and Stephen also, gets a bit older. Also, I would have thought this... I also thought Stephen was voiced by a female. No. To be fair, most males are voiced by females in cartoons, so I assume that it had that quality to it. Nope, they got a real boy. I love, I love when they're sitting at the panels and then there's just Zach surrounded by a bunch of women. They make lots of jokes about that. Oh wow, well, it could be worse. I know a certain other example of using an actual child for voice acting. It was so weird. Yeah, and then the voice actor for Pearl, because she's, um. You know, she, she's a mother, she's got kids. She's like, oh, Zach, he's like my son, you know. They like to say things like that. So, um, and that also helps the dynamic um, of the characters because the voice actors have that sort of, sort of parental mother-son kind of relationship. It helps the... Um, it helps when they're voicing the characters, I think. But getting to the other characters, I liked how this first episode showed their characters because um, they had that sequence where they taught him to summon weapons. And I think the way they choose to summon their weapons actually says a lot about their characters. But what do you think of the three crystal gems? Uh, there's the one I don't know anything about, the skinny one. There's the stereotypical black one, and then there's the stereotypical fat emo one. <laughs> I'm sure that'll change, but for now that's all I see. And they're not doing much to change that. It's only the first episode. That's why I like first episodes. It makes me look fun. Hmm. Yeah, but I like when they summon their weapons. It tells you a lot. For example, Pearl says she uses hard work and determination... Uh, whereas 
Amethyst says she doesn't need to try, it, it just happens. And then Garnet says, become one with yeah, the okay, universe. We don't need to and repeat everything. everything we said. The animation during that scene was actually good. We get that. Yes, there is some beautiful animation sequences. Once again, 2D animation is better than 3D. Yeah. And also, the music in this show gets really good. I like how um, in the shot where we first see each of the gems, we, we hear their theme being played for a moment, if you listen. Uh, I really like how um, they each have their music there. One thing I say, this episode does not feel padded or rushed or anything. The 10 minute time limit works for Steven Universe. This is what a kid's show needs to be. Kid's shows that are like this and are nice, simple and easy don't need to be long. It's 10 minutes. I can imagine watching this as a kid and thinking, okay, that was quick, it's done. It didn't drag on, the characters weren't annoying. Like I, like I said with that certain other show, I like to put myself in my mind as if I was a kid. I probably would have kept watching this, especially since it was short, it was quick, it didn't get on my nerves. Yeah, yeah, and I really like the characters, and it makes me seem, it makes me interested to see, you know, what comes next. In season one, there are a lot of filler episodes, I'll admit. It's but... a kid show, it doesn't matter if it's got filler. As long as, that's the thing, it's also short, so it doesn't matter if it's as filler as much, because it doesn't feel like it's dragging or wasting your time. Exactly, that's why I love these episodes. Although later on, there becomes a need for longer episodes when they get more into a heavy plot. So there are moments where they have like a double episode. Well, that happens to every show. Yeah, we'll get to it when we get to it. But um, one last thing about um, one of the gems, Garnet. I just want to mention, even though you won't understand, I just love that way, even back in the first episode, they're already foreshadowing that thing that she can do by saying it was Garnet's idea. And that's how... Okay, well, we don't need to talk... Stop talking about the future. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't even know which one's Garnet. <laughs> the, the pink one. The skinny one. No. The fat one. <laughs> There's only three of them! The skinny, fat, and black! Which one is it? It's... Yeah, sure, black. Call her black. It wasn't pink at all! She's kind of pink. Alright, maybe it was looking at it from a weird angle. Okay. Anyway, as you've noticed, some episodes have a song in them, so we have to mention that. We don't have to mention it. <laughs> What did you think of our first song, Cookie Cat? I didn't mind it. Again, it worked because I can picture myself not minding it as a kid. I yeah. don't like it here, but I can appreciate what it is. That's the difference. Yeah, like some adults who watch the show, they find it annoying, or at least they find it kind of sudden. He just randomly Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Singing. It's like, oh god, here we go. Yeah, but just, I think... It, it became a bit of a fan favourite, maybe mostly for nostalgia reasons. Like, I love how um, whenever I watch a panel, whenever someone asks the, the voice actors what their favourite song is, they just randomly burst into singing Cookie Cat. Probably because it's simple, quick and easy. Yeah, true. That and the theme song is a really quick and easy one to do. Mm-hmm. And... Is there anything else you'd like to mention about the episode? There's nothing to mention. The episode's quick, so we don't need to drag this on. Yeah, and I think it did a great job of introducing the characters. Yeah, I, unlike the other show which I shit on, I will be nice and give this a six. Maybe a seven, but probably just a six. I mean, hey, it's a kid show. I can't be rating it too high, but hey, maybe it gets better. Maybe there's a good reason why it's overrated as all hell. But we'll see for now. It's just a six. Oh, just you wait. Do it's we get just a six. Let's not. Don't give me that. Just wait. This. Just wait. That. You'll become annoying like the rest of the fans on Facebook. <laughs> it's a six. That's all I need to say. Yeah, I think they just did a great the job with the first episode. I'm tossing between seven and eight. Jesus Christ! All right. Well, if you say so. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. 
Well, maybe another time you'll see us review another episode of this thing. Alright. Yep, that's it for this episode. Bye.